All right, it's been a minute since we've done a barn update and I've been putting in a little bit more work on making it just a little bit warmer in the winter. And today's weather is kind of a reminder as to why I need to do that. So the next thing that I'm gonna do today is the heater that I had actually put outside, I'm gonna bring inside today. I initially put it outside uh, just because I didn't want it in here. It makes some noise, it's a forced fan heater. Uh, it's a little bit louder. So if I'm in here and working out and playing music or coaching somebody, I just didn't want it to interfere with the sound or uh, me talking. So I put it outside, which is right down there, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that whole unit back inside, seal up that wall. This whole setup did not work out very well at all. Basically, that's just a hole in the wall. It allows cold air to come through. It was a good idea on paper, not a very good functional idea when I actually got it set up. So that bad boy's coming inside. not what we want. The heater is moved, but now we've got to kind of deal with all this. Since this is the electrical wire, it kind of circles back around to that wall over there. All right, next thing I've got to do, I took all the wire back around the walls here, pulled it out from underneath the mats, but now I need to snake that wire all the way up this wall right here. So we need to go, well not down, we need to go up that wall over top of there and then down and I'm gonna put an outlet up there. I also need to hang a light up above there. So I need to put a light somewhere so that the loft gets some light. Everything that needs to happen right now is getting the wire routed to where it needs to be so we can get power where we want it to go. All right, so we got the wires kind of run across the top of the roll-up door. And what needs to happen next is, big thing is gonna be bringing this cord behind the wall. And to do that, so we're gonna have to run this wire down and then probably just drill a hole here and use a jigsaw to kind of cut out a little notch where the wire can go down in. Um, I do not think I've got enough length for a drill bit to get through that big beam there. And I really don't wanna put a hole in that one. What we're gonna have to do, run the wire down right here, run it down behind the wall. We'll get our outlet right down here somewhere. And that'll be where I'm gonna have an outlet for the top of the lock. All right, so quick change in plan. That was probably really loud. Quick change in plan on what we're doing here for the outlet and getting power into the loft. Uh, I am not gonna put that heater up here. I'm gonna keep it down on the floor. All right, so first things first, on the board that's gonna go back up in that space, I'm gonna trace out this gang box. Uh, this is roughly where the edge of this stud is. A little bit of wiggle room on there. I traced the line a little bit thick just to give it a little bit of extra room on either side so that it should fit right when I put the board up there. That'd be a good idea to put this in first. Room to spare. We gotta strip some wires here now, and I'm gonna show you why this is made one of my top, I think it was five tools that are needed for building a home gym. If you're ever putting in anything electric and you have to strip any wires, this is the easiest way to do it. Just pops the ends right off, and then you got a clean end. Phillips doesn't go into heck. Well, that's actually a pretty bad cut job. Only the truth. Yes, power. All right, that's it for the barn updates for today. We got power up in the loft, so mission accomplished. I'm gonna continue to work on heating this thing for this winter as it continues to get colder. Remember to like, subscribe, put any questions down in the comments below on any other thing that you want to see in here or questions on how I did something. I'm sure I can steer you in the right direction or at least show you how it didn't work for me and the thing that you should do if I made any mistakes. We'll see you guys next time.